Hello everybody, it's Genghis again. This time I've got a replay in the Bunchen again. I'm platooning with uh, Glemp, the Chief of OM, or Clan Chef of OM, whatever you want to call him, and Warmax. Uh, we were only playing 50B in Batchat for a couple of games, so yeah. Um, in this battle we've got a lot. Basically we've only got tier 10 mediums and a T57, if you count the 50B as mediums, uh, which I would actually. They've got three T57, which is a really dangerous platoon, and two E3s, which could pose us. Oh no, E3 and E4. But still, that's kind of heavily armored to these, which either will be a great problem, or we manage to flank, it depends. Um, and they've got a very good 140 and M103 player. Um, teams are uh, rather equal. So, um, yeah. We decide to go pretty aggressive into the city at the beginning, see what we can do over there. Or at least that was a plan, but um, yeah, not everybody's doing that. <laughs> nah. So yeah, batch up up out. I immediately stopped to shoot him. Uh, Snapshot misses. Um, we're thinking about pushing, not pushing. I use auto aim there to shoot through the wall. And yeah, that's a bat check gone in there. Uh, no time. Managed to hit four shots of that clip, which is pretty good. Get shot in the ass only once by my team, uh, my platoon mate. So uh, that's pretty good too. <laughs> no. Uh, that kind of stuff just happens. So yeah, for the moment, pretty good battle start. We managed to basically go in and uh, you know, kill two bat chats real quick. Um, they weren't the best players, but killing two bat chats early in the battle is always a very good thing. Because bad shots become uh, very dangerous in the end game, especially if they have health left. So yeah, just staying up here, reloading. And yeah, I say it's in a pretty good position actually. Well, that's kind of annoying. Ah, I'm loaded. I'm gonna try and get some shots into him. Oh yeah, he's actually falling back now, which is advantageous too. Bad shot on the side, just bounce. He doesn't put one into me for some reason, and yeah. D54 managed to get away, so I'm I reload. No point in you know trying to get in two shots and get shot for it. Um, our other flanks dying completely, so we decide to go back to base already. I mean already because it's two minutes twenty into the game, you know. But yeah. Now we're down a tank. Um, we're also down around three thousand HP, like team wise. Which is a lot, it's like one and a half tier gens HP wise. So yeah. I decide to go into the middle to maybe get flanking shots, um when they go over here. Um actually my fifty Bs didn't come back yet, they're still wanking over there, but whatever. Yeah, T fifty four up there. I'm I would have been ready to eat a shot for him for killing him, but he didn't even trip me back. I had to get rid of him because uh, he had my, my flank basically. I'm kind of exposed right now. Like, I could get clicked by the T57s. But on the other side, like, I'm using the ridge lines to stay in cover. Problem is the 140 on my back. So, yeah, right now I'm really unsure what to do. If I'm honest. Like, right now, when this was happening, of course. I can't really shoot the 140. I could go out in T57s, but. I haven't really been focusing on how many shells they've got left, and T57s are kind of a hard counter to bad chance, because they just do the damage so much faster than do it, you do it to them, which is really annoying. So yeah, I'm trying to get some very sneaky shots at that Centurion. Managed to get in one though. <laughs> oh my god. Through the two building groups. Got two shells left again, I just decide to reload and relocate, I'm not that useful here. I'm not spotting that much, and uh, yeah. So while I'm trying to do my best, do my work, and so it's all over platoon, we're still kind of at a disadvantage, and this is, I mean, game is still close, but it's not looking good, let's say it that way. Uh, their good players are still alive, I guess ours are too, but they've just got, you know, every time we kill a tank, they kill a tank, basically. And now we're actually three tanks down, and we're still 3,000 HP down. Thing is that now there's only like five or something tanks left, so 3,000 HP is much more. 
if you know what I mean. So I go up here, go in the bush, to basically spot cap, get spotted, I don't know by what. I go back. Uh, I was keeping to go back, uh, no, intending to keep going back, but then the centurion shot me, so I had all the time to aim on the T-57. I really could not miss on an opportunity to take out a T-57. And now two of them are dead, but, um, yeah. Now if you look at the HP bar, we've basically got half the health of our enemy team. I decide that I've got three shells left, I only need two for the centurion, so I go in aggressively and take him out. And not him, him even having time to shoot back. You also notice that my engine miles damaged, but as I didn't have great distance to do to get to the centurion, I decided to wait with repairing it in case I like get tracked or he shoots me and gets my ammo or something. Uh, so I could just use a big repair kit and everything. But yeah, once I actually needed that engine, I repaired it of course. Um, I'm basically flanking around a bit to get in the, you know, get behind these guys. Which I do. I get spotted, I maybe went in a bit early. That high roll was really good. And uh, yeah, now I'm basically coordinating with a 50p down there. To uh, shoot 57 together. Kind of have bad shooting skill there. I should have probably kept the last shot and put it into the E4, or tried to. But I just wanted to get the fuck out. And basically, when I get the fuck out in my bad chat, I reload. I also do a little mistake here, but he's still reloading, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I go behind this house just to get Archie safe. I know, I shouldn't be destroying all the walls right now if I'm honest because of Archie. But whatever. I basically wanted to get here to go maybe use these bushes in front of me once I'm reloaded. Which I am going to do. Um, and yeah. So that E4 pushed into the autoloaders. It was kind of a mistake from him. But... This battle still looks bad. Um, if you think about it, it's 3v3 and they've got an RT. That's one way to think about it. Other way to think about it is um, we've got two one shots and a two shot. Oh, I'm basically like a. Yeah. If nearly one shot for the E3 and nearly two shot for the M103. Like one RT splash and then one shot for the E3 and a two shot for the M103. Um, against uh, M103, who's nearly full life. An E3, which I don't remember how much health he has, and the RT. Um, in my opinion, it's still a very close battle. It was much closer before the E4 died. Also, you saw that I had four shells left, but I reloaded after killing the E4. Uh, one reason is that I didn't expect action to happen very soon, and second reason is that um, now I've got exactly ten shells left, which means that if I empty both clips fully. Uh, I end up with zero instead of like ending up with two shells in the end or something. Uh, so yeah, at first I was thinking about going up here and going for Archie or something, but then I saw the E3 was down there. Well, that was his last known position, so he would probably get me on the way to Archie. Now he got spotted up there, so I'm trying to take care to not get spotted here, and I'm gonna flank around him. If I manage to get the E3, the battle's already looking much better. And yeah. I still got 1,200 health left, so I need three or four shots to kill him. Uh, I need to penetrate three or four shots, uh, depending on how high I roll. I'm basically going to go for him only if I can flank him, which I can't. And basically, right now, I'm screaming on Team Speak, help, <laughs> because if he pushes me, I at least lose um nearly all my health. Um, what you saw me do right there, I want to talk about that real quick. Um, I mean, it's nothing too special, yeah? I was in this area. I was safe from the E3. Um, however, my line of thought was, if I stay here and he decides to, he decides to push on me, which would be, in my opinion, the right decision from him, um, he's for sure going to get a shot into me. On top of that, he could hire on me and kill me. And even if he doesn't, <sighs> penetrating an E3 from the front, I mean, in this in this corridor, it would be really, really hard for me to flank him, except if I manage to track him and he doesn't have a repair kit. So it'd probably be like him face-hugging me or something. And penetrating in his 3 which is face-hugging you in a bad chat, it's really not easy, because the gun's not the most accurate. 
Penetration, I mean, of course it's good, but it's not like E50M good, you know, it, it's only 259 if you low roll, you can even bound on the upper plate if you hit it perfectly. If you hit, I mean, a lower plate, I mean, I mean, because E3 is very well armored, and if you're, like, hectic, you might bounce. Actually, you might even bounce quite a lot. It's a bit like an E5, you know, actually really easy to penetrate, but when he's face hugging you, uh. So what I decided to do, I saw him, like, turn away a bit, and I took that moment to go back here. Uh, he turned right back and shot me, but one, he wasn't aimed. Two, he's not a unicum, so I know he's not great at snapshotting. And um, three, like, yeah. I mean, once I'm here, you know, uh, I can just run around this building, around that building. I can do whatever I want. And also, like, I can fall back while my support is coming up, which is a glimp in a 50p. So, yeah, I he shot. So I go out, take a bad shot at him. And uh, he comes at me, and I just decide to not risk it. Artie could splash me, and I might need those four shells. And he was in a pretty good position, so yeah. Um, I oh yeah, Glemp is kind of scared actually to get uh, about getting shot in the ass from E3, so that's why he's taking a bit of time. But now he's coming up at full speed, and I'm just like chilling around here. I'm basically hugging this corner. Oh yeah, that's actually another move I want to talk about. I mean, it would have been a better decision for me to be standing at this corner to actually see down there. But, as I basically missed that, or didn't do that at the beginning, I'm scared that if I peek it out now, he might be standing there aiming this way, and I get raped. So what I'm just doing is hugging this corner, turn that way. There's a very good reason for that. Um, if he comes from behind me, He's gonna have, like, how can I talk about this? If he comes from behind me, I'm gonna spot him when he's able to shoot me because, like, my proxy range is maybe around here or something. Um, so I wanna be driving forward away from him. Well, if he comes from this direction at me, I'll proxy him around here, I know, somewhere. Which, even going backwards, leaves me more than enough time to go around this hill, this rock, or this house. That's basically my line of thought right now. So yeah, I shouldn't even have paused it there. It's gonna take some time until something happens next time anyway. But whatever. Yeah, you see me not doing much. <laughs> not much I could do. I could reload but right now, but this is a situation where I would not recommend reloading. I've got four shells left. I probably won't need more in the urgent future. Because I don't expect Archie to arrive or then one of you to have relocated completely. Um, and so yeah. Um... Glem spots E3, he hasn't really moved much. But now we're two on one and um you see he's going back immediately because I mean if we flank him he's dead. Uh I auto aim first and I see I track him, so I'm gonna do sniper mode to hit his track with every shot and just finish him off real quick. Why did I auto him at the beginning? Because it allows me like it allows me to not go into sniper mode which gives me a better view of what's happening generally. Maybe in a one of one it's not that important, but like if you're in a brawl, that's why I like o using auto aim a lot on targets which I know can penetrate with auto aim, which is like side armor, rear armor, or mediums, because it allows me to keep in view where I'm actually driving, where my tank is pointing, what's going on around me, are my RT safe, all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, we managed to kill him, but the battle is still not won in my opinion, because um, oh it's still two one shots and a uh, two shot. I mean, one very one shot and one one shot against uh, Arch in the 103. But then Archie pops up, he's already eaten a shot and I think he's gonna die. Yep. Walmax gets him. And yeah. I mean, um, basically, Glemp and Walmax are like screaming in team speak, stay with all hands, go together, what, and so on and so on. But I'm pretty confident I can eat a shot and uh, kill the M103. If it was a T125, for example, I probably would be more careful because the chance of me bouncing him is much higher. But M103, you can only auto aim the upper plate anyway, so yeah. Uh, I'm driving the canoe again, like I did at the beginning of the game. I don't even know what happened there. Probably without having putting on some music or so. This was on stream, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So yeah, he gets spotted over there. 
and uh, I'll just decide to go in from behind him. A bit risky driving there, if I'm honest. Uh, I should have stopped and go down slowly. But adrenaline was pumping, I guess, in this game for me. <laughs> and so, yeah. Not a huge secret either. I go in. And I think he just gave up. Right now. I mean, could have lagged out too. But yeah, let's have a look at the uh, post game stats. So, um, basically, um, I have. I got Mastery Badge, we got Crucial Contribution, which means we got 12 enemies in our platoon, 12 kills. High caliber and a Top Gun. Uh, it was a pretty good game. Uh, in my opinion, it was a very strong uh, platoon carry, to be honest. Glemp did 2,400 damage. Uh, Warmax did 4,000, 600, 500, whatever. And I did 6,000, 300. So, um, that's a platoon damage of around. Poof, wait, let me do that in my head real quick. Uh, 8,500 plus 4,500 is 13,000. So, yeah, 13,000 platoon damage in a game where there was not even that much HP to be had. Um, the highest damage of the rest of our team was the other batch that was nearly 3,000. Except for that, everybody was like below two or even below one thousand. Um, yeah, I also got a bit of spotting damage off. I got seven kills. Uh, we could have also gotten rods and arms if Glemp had gotten the last kill in the one three, but I wanted W eight <laughs> Uh Yeah, I also got some credit for um, getting shot by my own fifty B at the beginning of the game, which is always cool. And I hope you enjoyed this um, pretty close game, or very close game, in my opinion. To be honest, like, I didn't start believing we could win it before we killed the E3. Um, because, I mean, at some point before we killed the E4 and uh, the T57 and the Object 140 and all that, we were down by so much, you know. Like, a really good game to all of our platoon, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also worked hard on uh, getting rid of all the... Uh, lags that I was having in my videos. Spent like three, four hours <laughs> just trying to get rid of the issue while still trying to get the best quality I can get for you guys. So I hope I achieved this. Please um, tell me if you still have any problems either with the audio or the video lagging or with the quality in general. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the game. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you guys want to see if you want to see more like platoon games, solo games, carries, fails analysis of tanks, special tanks, special maps, um, I don't care, whatever you want, you know, like, uh, even if it's stuff like angling, I don't care, just tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll try and get it up for you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll try and keep them coming, bye, have fun.